Hey everybody, it's your girl Mrs. Garcia coming back with another video. To all my new watchers, hello and welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification down below. Let's give this video a full watch. Happy early new years to everyone. This is how I'll be ending my year with a request video from a quarter baked. If you haven't, make sure you give her a follow. The link will be in the description box below. This is my pop stickers. I'm going to show you everything I put inside. Let's get started. So I did start off with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of minced garlic, as well as minced ginger. Now to my pan, I'll be adding about a pound and a half of ground pork. And I'm just breaking that down. And I'm just going to let that go until it starts browning. Next, I'll be adding a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of five spice, two capfuls of mirin, next we'll be adding a tablespoon and a half of Maggie seasoning, or if you have soy sauce, go ahead and add that. Next, we're just going to let that cook for three to five minutes until the meat is completely brown. Once it is, we're going to add in a couple of handfuls of coleslaw mix. Now you can chop this all yourself, your cabbage, your carrots and everything, but I just find this more convenient. And now I'm just going to saute this all together until some of the cabbage absorbs some of that flavor so about another three to five minutes okay our dumpling mixture is complete just let that cool for 15 minutes before you start wrapping okay now we're to the point where we are going to wrap our dumplings so you want your wonton wrappers go ahead and take about a teaspoon and a half of filling to the center of the wrapper and then what you want to do is wet the edges of the wonton wrapper I am just now gonna fold over the bottom to the top I'm just making sure all the filling is in the center next I am going to pinch close so you just want to make sure all the air is out that way it doesn't bust open Now I'm also going to take some of the water at the back of the edge of the corner, take my sides, push them in, and bring them together, pinch the bottom, and there you have it. Now you can take that bottom piece and fold it back make it look a little bit more pretty or you can leave it as is i am going to show you guys one more time how i do wrap this but there you have it so one more time we are going to take a teaspoon and a half of filling to the middle of the wrapper Make sure it is completely centered. Take your water to the edges of your wrapper. Take the bottom part, fold it into a triangle, squeeze together, make sure all the air is completely out. Now 
wet the bottom, the front and the back, push together, and pinch. And if you want, go ahead and fold it underneath. Next, I am taking my pot stickers to a little bit of water in the pan. So that's about two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons of water. And I am going to semi steam them for about five to seven minutes on a medium low heat with the lid on and that's just gonna help the wrapper cook next i did take about two tablespoons of oil and i just pan seared my dumplings until they were nice and golden brown on both sides this is just me showing you the completed meal I did end up pairing this with homemade chili oil. Very simple recipe. If you guys would like to know that, just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so our pot stickers are complete. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Again, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content. And hit the bell notification down below so you can be notified for the next video. Again, this was for a quarter baked. Make sure you guys subscribe to her channel as well. Thank you guys all for watching. For more tasty recipes, go ahead and hit the playlist at the end.